A Dinner Theater by Idris Goodwin. Idris Goodwin is a playwright, breakbeat poet, creative collaborator, and director of the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center at Colorado College. He's spending a lot of quality time with his dynamic family at home these days, which has done wonders for his imagination and made story oh so important. Visit him on all social platforms at Idris Goodwin or his website, idrisgoodwin.com. This play was commissioned by the Kennedy Center. The Kennedy Center is the nation's cultural center and a living memorial to President John F. Kennedy. They are a leader for the arts across America and around the world, reaching and connecting with artists, inspiring and educating communities. They welcome all to create, experience, learn about, and engage with the arts. A Dinner Theater by Idris Goodwin So, how was everyone's day? Well, I guess the most interesting thing that happened to me today, you know how I like to sweep up the front porch? Well, today I went to sweep up the front porch and I noticed a package. I set down my broom and I went to get the box cutter. And when I went to open that package, it shook. The package shook. It shook. How did it shake? I was careful. I cut the tape on the sides and gently down the middle and I opened the package and out leapt a kangaroo. <laughs> I said, oh my gosh, it's funny because the kangaroo was four feet high. The box was maybe 10 by five inches, if that. How did a kangaroo get in there? Who would send me a kangaroo and why? But I didn't have, a, have time to think deep about those questions because that kangaroo was just a hopping and bouncing. Now, if I've learned anything from all the cartoons I've watched, everyone knows that kangaroos like to box. So I immediately got into my boxing stance. Hands up, <laughs> fists high. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> then what happened? What are you talking about? My fists and I, we waited. But this kangaroo, he flattened out his little paws. He held them up saying, hey, man, it's cool. Oh, I was relieved. You know, I can't fight. Yeah, she really can. <laughs> so I put my guard down too. I said, you want to come in, kangaroo? He considered it, looked at the address number on the house. He shook his head. Sorry, wrong address, he said. Picked up the box, hopped on down the road. So that was pretty cool. Hmm. Huh. What? I love kangaroos. Now that I think about it, something kind of cool did happen to me. Wait, wait. Where were all of us when the kangaroo thing happened? Not now. I want to hear about the cool thing. Yeah. I came up with an idea for a web business. Web business? You want to start a spider farm? Oh, the internet, silly. Not spider webs. <laughs> it's more of an app. Oh, is it a game? Like, works with friends or two dots? No. It's something that teaches you how to speak a foreign language, like Duolingo? No, not like Duolingo. Why don't we stop guessing and just wait for, you know... It's called the Boredom App. Interesting. The boredom App. Say more. Who would want an app called Boredom? People who get bored, of course. Uh, let's say you're bored. Not a problem. You turn on the app and it asks you questions. Hey, what did you have for breakfast? What do you want for lunch? What's the weather like outside today? Are you an Android or an iPhone person? And after you get tired of answering all these questions, you turn it off and go find something else to do. The boredom app bores you so much 
you get creative. Oh, genius! <laughs> you guys are so weird today. You know, that just reminded me of something interesting that happened to me. Great! So... I was having this dream. <laughs> I love dream stories. Well, wait, wait, wait. it's not really about the dream. I don't really remember what happened in the dream. It's probably just like normal, boring dream. I was probably folding clothes or reading a comic book in a rowboat or something. Anyway, but for whatever reason, I woke up. Maybe there was a leak in the rowboat. Shh, stop interrupting. Well, speaking of leaks, I got up. I had to go to the bathroom. I flipped the switch. Lights come on. And that's when I saw it bathtub was full of water i don't mean like like somebody forgot to drain the tub after they got out i mean the tub was full of raging water and in that raging water there were battleships two of them blasting cannonballs at each other <laughs> whoa cool <laughs> what is going on with you so I get, all i went and got those little binoculars out to take a closer look and the ships had flags from two different nations. And there were these two guys in different uniforms on each ship. They were shaking fists at each other and lighting up those cannons and boom. You know? I would have heard the boom. <laughs> they were tiny, so. Right, right. They were small, so the cannons weren't that loud. Right. The way I snore, you could blast a full-size cannon and I wouldn't even hear it. <laughs> but I had to know what the battle was all about. So I lean in real close i could maybe make out a few words right they were so tiny i couldn't understand exactly what they're saying but i picked a bit you know turns out their brothers didn't really get along so well they we're having a bit of an argument they took to the open seas or the open bathtub i guess you know <laughs> i sat right there on the toilet with a pair of binoculars i watched this battle rage on for a few minutes right until they both ran out of cannonballs nobody won <laughs> Nobody got hurt, but they really did a number on each other's ships. <laughs> uh, then I shut the light off, asked them to drain the tub when they were done. Did they? Oh, yes. Consider it. Yeah. Then I went back to sleep, slept like a baby. <laughs> so that was interesting. Uh, pass the taters, please. Well, <laughs> what about you? What do you have to share? Nothing. We all shared. I don't have anything. Come on. I thought I didn't have anything, but then I remembered the kangaroo. And I remembered Yap. And the battleships. You made that up. No, we didn't. I didn't. Neither did I. Interesting things happen to everyone every day. Sometimes we just don't see them. So true. We get so caught up. So, so, so caught up. Stop. Come on. Really think. You just made all that stuff up. Stop. You're so annoying. Don't have to get mad. Just nice to have dinner conversation. Do you think I'm a chump? A kangaroo in a box busting out with a jump? Brothers in tubs, ca blasting cannons that through suds, all these fibs and lies when I'm trying to grub. What? You just rhymed. That was cool. Yeah, keep going. Keep going with what? Sipping out my cup. Trying to cut and slice a nice bite with my fork and my knife. These are the silliest stories I heard in my life. How are you doing this? They call it freestyling. I'm just trying to eat, sitting here in the seat. I'm not some rapidy rapper rhyming over a beat, talking about the day uh, you all get carried away. Yeah, it, okay, but don't tell me it's true about apps and tub battles and fighting kangaroos. It's okay to say nothing, that the day was just a shrug, that it was boring as an empty box or a waterless tub. And with the problems that we have from front to back, the last thing in the world we need is one more single app. I have a birthday, not yesterday. I won't accept everything that you say about what you didn't really do. So if everyone's done, let's just sit here and chew.
I take my thing back. That was the most interesting thing that happened to me today. Mm, me too. Me too. I never knew you had this talent. Well, I'm not surprised. I had a feeling. We're supposed to be chewing. Thank you. Okay. Who's for dessert? End of play. <laughs>